Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, it was the late first former vice president, Yeramoga Oginga Odinga's 30th memorial anniversary that took place um, in Kisumu. And uh, in that function, Uhuru Kenyatta was not there, Kalonzo Musoka was not present, but we saw other leaders gathering there, whereby among the leaders we had the first, uh, the, the, the former first lady, Margaret Kenyatta. And uh, when Margaret Kenyatta was in that event, there are um, several photos that was shared on social media, <laughs> and the people were giving their views on the same photos. We had Mama Ida Odinga, then Margaret Kenyatta. There was also a comparison on the very same photos. And I want us to look into that and the presence of Margaret Kenyatta in that event. But first of all, this is how the former First Lady Margaret Kenyatta was welcomed in Kisumu uh, for the Jaramoga Oginga Odinga's 30th anniversary. Now we are continuing this particular discussion by just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, on this 30th um, memorial anniversary for Jeremoge Oginga Odinga, there are so many things that Kenyans and uh, the world do remember Jeremoge for. This is a man who was dedicated to freedom life. He wanted a free Kenya where everyone lived freely. You have the freedom that every human right, every human being should have. So it is something we should remember about. And I think Raila Odinga has been a person who has really continued on that journey. His trajectory is all about reforms and the reforms are all about making life good and more free for Kenyans. So that's something we have always to remember about Yeramogi Oginga Odinga. So is this the Kenya I was looking for? To some extent, we are somewhere because of our 2010 constitution, but we are not yet there. The journey still continues and not continue. Now, the presence of Margaret Kenyatta is a clear indication that if Uhuru Kenyatta had time, he was supposed to attend this. But because he was, he was busy engaged somewhere else, he decided that Margaret Kenyatta should go and present him. Of course, we want to come back in Jeremiah Kione and the Jubilee leadership, but above all, because it's a family issue, so Uhuru had to send one of his trusted family member into this event. And who can be that person if not Margaret Kenyatta? <laughs> so the presence of Margaret Kenyatta is the presence of Uhuru Kenyatta in that event. So Uhuru was present and was part of that function. For himself, he was, we know he was in DRC Congo to attend the swearing-in of the, uh, the president-elect, Shisekedi. That's why he was not able to manage to be at this place. So that tells you that the, there is still much in touch between Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta family. From the time they resolved to work together up to now, they are still intact, and the relation is still good. 
Now, go to the photos. We saw the photo of Margaret Kenyatta and Mama Ida, Kenya, Mama Ida Odinga <laughs> shared eh? on social media. Kenyans are now doing a comparison between the two and eh, the current <laughs> first lady um, who is now in State House. So you look at Rachel Ruto as the first lady, then you compare Margaret Kenyatta, then you compare Ida Odinga on the same. People are giving, the, are giving their views. So the photos come out so beautiful. They are so magnificent, magnificent photos. And they bring out a kind of leaders that you wish they should be in the house in that office of the first lady. People are remembering Margaret Kenyatta when she served as the first lady. A woman who focused more on empowering women and children. A woman who was involved in a program that was helping to have the best child health care. She used to go for marathon to raise funds to help women in maternity and the welfare of a baby. There is something you can remember Margaret Kenyatta for. So she came out more of the real first lady that we needed in that state house. <laughs> so I to find a comparison with the Rachel Ruto. She say her office is going to play a role of a, a family faith ambassador. Mambo <laughs> yake faith. So she's ambassador of the family uh, of the family faith. That is what she's advocating for. I don't know how this is touching uh, lives of Kenyans. You talk about maybe women or family. I don't know how that office has reached out to you or touched you in one way or another. Maybe you can tell us in the comment section. But for me, I'm yet to see in either way the office of the first lady has directly touched on any life of Kenyan. For Margaret Kenyatta, we would see women going to hospital, free delivery, best service. Then children are taken care of in terms of medical health treatment in Kwanisau. Because she was raising funds using so many ways, marathon and all those. She was really a person who was focused on giving quality life and quality health to the young ones. There is something you can remember her for. But one and a half years in office, there's nothing to smile at as far as the duties and responsibility bestowed in the office of the first lady, Rachel Ruto, is concerned. So you see Margaret Kenyatta, then the photo of Mama Ida Odinga pops in. She comes out as a person who really can carry or continue with the good trajectory that Margaret Kenyatta was championing for. But in Roger Ruto, you see something different. So it's like, oh, after Margaret Kenyatta, the person who was supposed to be in that state house, in that first lady's office, Ni Ida Odinga. She comes out more of a person who can focus on it, working for the people and have an impact on the lives of Kenyans. That is the interpretation in this photo. So she's more of a really first lady, but in the other one, something different. A person who's not sure of her duties and function in the office, she is in as of now. So you see a total different. That is a discussion people are having now. Then, you look at the same photo, the reaction is that there is a feeling among Kenyans that first lady Rachel Ruto, to some extent, Nikama, she's being abused in one way or another. <laughs> it's a allegation that she's not treated well to have that confident as the first lady. 
So the confidence is not in her because someone has mistreated her or someone hasn't empowered her as a woman. But you look Margaret Kenyatta, she comes out more of a woman who has been empowered by her husband to come out and uh, you know be part of the building of the nation because you have confident someone helped you to gain that confident Ida Odinga much of you know she has much confidence because someone built confident in her she got a platform and she was allowed to you know come out as the way she would wish to come out and be herself. Something that is failing in Rachel Ruto. There is someone who has not allowed her to come out as a woman, be herself, grow, be helped, build confidence in her. And that's why maybe she's failing as first lady to carry an agenda that will impact Kenyans in one way or another, which can make people to remember her even when she's out of that office. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much, and see you in our next video.